Hi everyone, Eleanor here and welcome to the Hobby King Weekly Wrap. In this episode, we're going to go through new items, announce the winner of the weekly competition and see what is happening in the RC community. Let's get into it. First up, we have the new items of the week. We had a 1600mm Pfizer Storch FI156 laser cut balsa kit, a DCJ conversion kit for the Blaze Touring Car that helps eliminate front end chatter, giving you increased steering. Also available with the Blaze Touring Car is optional caster blocks and spare steering knuckles. And our major release for this week was the 800mm H King Radjet 800. If you haven't seen the Super Daily for it yet, here is some of it now. Weekly competition time. We are currently running Crash Cash, where all you have to do is send us a photo or video of something I see that you have crashed. This week's highlights were Jude from the US, whose 3D printed plane didn't even make it off the ground. Ruben from Spain, who kissed the tarmac. Richard from the US, who's got some rebuilding to do. And our winner was Saki from South Africa, who was humble enough to admit that it was pilot error. Not many pilots do that. Congratulations Saki, $50 on its way to you. To enter, share your pictures or video via social with the hashtag CrashCash. Or enter by the Hobby King website entry page, links are below. If you don't win, but your entry does appear in the weekly wrap, you'll be rewarded with $10 in store credits. Okay, community projects. Let's take a trip around the world and see what is happening in the RC community. Robo Biggles from the UK released a video of a B-17 in flight with multiple FPV setups. Morning, Scotty. I got my sights on them. Check out B-17, Chuck, 3 o'clock. Motor smoking. Fire at 10.30, coming around. Controlled Chaos RC from the US took to the skies for some streamer combat action. The onboard footage looks amazing. Some very close proximity flying topped off with a jaw-dropping collision that almost takes out one of the FPV systems. Ouch. Mark from the UK dialed the throats up a bit for his Durafly Tomahawk to make it do what he calls a sycamore. He says to do it, you build up a good head of speed, pull vertical, bang the sticks to the top corner, then throttle back. To me, it looks like a spinning boomerang. Oh, wait, and the most important step of all is to go full power to exit the spin. Well done, Mark, and good to see you didn't end up in crash cash. Russell FPV from South Korea took his FPV drone up for some freestyle action in and around a yet to be opened section of road. What makes the location so great is that there are two tunnels to fly through. Great flying, Russell. Lassie from Norway showed off the power of his 3D printed cat excavator by using it to transfer dirt into an 8x8 RC dump truck. I would not have guessed that this is 3D printed because it looks so good. That paint job with the detailing and weathering is amazing. And RC Hellstaff from Canada pulled his two Felium Speed racing boats down to the river with the help of a trailer attached to his Red Cat Gen 8 crawler. I absolutely love how you reverse down into the water to let the boats go, and then once finished, have them drive back up the trailer, and away you go. To contribute, visit the Hobby King community page on Facebook or email us at weeklywrap at hobbyking.com. Or simply tag your recent pictures or video on social with the hashtag HKWeeklyWrap and we will find it. Remember, if you happen to feature anywhere on the Weekly Wrap, you'll be rewarded with $10 in store credits. So that concludes this Weekly Wrap. If you're enjoying the show, please give it a like, share with your friends and comment down below to show your support. I will see you next week. Bye.